Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome to the worst reviews ever. We got amazing in the building. We got Wally in here. Yeah. And we got the guy down here cheesing. Patrick Mahomes, little brother, sidekick. What's <laughs> Casey up? Fred. Oh, yeah. All right, man. You got 10 seconds to gloat. <laughs> Get All your right. shine on. Hey, here we go. Here we go. Let me go ahead and do this. For all the beautiful haters out there, I just want everybody to know that uh, we did what nobody thought was possible. You better it's not pull out them fake ass uh, rings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, better, you better not pay, pay. You better put them away. He's putting man. them on. He's putting them on right now. Yeah. <laughs> I just want you guys to know. Oh, you got the music too. Oh hell no! <laughs> oh lord, this is like this is the worst. This is too much. This is the worst. See, see, see. This is how you know. This, this is the problem with y'all saying y'all ain't humble. Y'all ain't humble. One of these days. One of these days. I'm getting worse. Uh, but, but on a serious note, though, on a serious note, as much as I want to go, I do want to be able to. Uh, if you guys don't mind, take a moment for all the families in our community uh because as much as we love uh the super bowl and stuff like that we had a, a beautiful parade but then um you know violence kind of took over at the end and um a soul was lost and many people were injured and i just want to take a moment to be able to send a shout out to kc and the community and for all those uh that have lost or else are going through uh, with loved ones, including children in hospitals uh, mm -hmm. because of the violence. And so I just want to take a moment of silence for them. And I really appreciate that. Thank you, KC. We love you guys. And uh, we love the Chiefs. And we just appreciate uh, Manic sophistication and the network and all you guys, um, because as much as we love Super Bowl, we love KC, especially MO, even more. So uh, this violence really has to stop, man. And so uh, we want to always make sure we take the time and just give a shout out to all the people that we love and care for, because in a moment's time, it can be lost. It can be taken away from you. And so we just want to be able to make sure that we send our love to everyone. And so we love you guys, man. Nah, thanks. Thanks for them words, man. Yeah. Hope everybody gets better and stuff. That's sad that people go and you know mess up a whole celebration, you know, bring it that brings people together and stuff. So that that people just gotta calm down with this stuff. Yeah. Big but time. all right, man. We gave we gave Frederick his time. Shout out to the Chiefs. Hopefully they get you on the payroll, man. I told you, man. You're like Clipper Daryl over there, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I've been waiting for for all these years. So, you know, you you you've definitely been holding them down with the jerseys and stuff. So, yeah, we we gonna try to get you paid over there. I'm about to hit up the staff and telling them you you holding them down. <laughs> but all yeah. right, let me go ahead and pull these slides up, and we we'll start jumping into this. So all right, let me let me position it. Since, uh, so all right, Dangerous Waters is a 22-23 American thriller film directed and written by John Barr. And then a quick plot on this: a selling holiday spirals out of control when a teenage daughter uncovers the dark past of her mother's new boyfriend. So going to the director and a producer slide. So directed by John Barr, written by Mark Jackson. Produced by Sousa Horvat and Mark Goldberg. So let me go ahead and jump on the, the cast slide. They had a pretty heavy cast for this movie. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Odea Rush as Rose. Eric Dane as Derek Stripes. That's my man from, uh, what was that TV show? He was McSteamy, whatever the hell. Uh, Grey's Anatomy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Saffron Burroughs as Alma. Ray Liotta as the captain. Sala Baker as John, Matt Servito as Agent Friedman, Omen Zader as Henchman Larry. That's kind of gangster. They said Henchman Larry. Oh, yeah. Meredith. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <Los> <laughs> what was that? That was about his name. Yeah, they, 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 they were like, look, you're goon, goon Gary and shit. 
Yeah. So Maria de Los Angeles has Traffic Girl, Camila Santana as Traffic Girl, and Brian Duffy as Henchman Bill. They were kind of lazy with the the cast names. <laughs> it is, man. It really is Henchman Bill. <laughs> They're like, damn that. Look, we gotta hurry up, write this shit, give them some names. <laughs> I didn't even know what their names were. Yo. That's they, they never say their names out loud. That's why I thought it was funny. Yeah, yeah, they, they just put it because you know I grabbed it for the website, but they were like, uh, Hitchman Larry. I was like, damn, y'all ain't, y'all ain't get my man no last name. His last name is Larry. <laughs> but did we even throughout the whole movie, they just kept referring to um, uh, Ray Liotta's character as the captain. I was like, was, so his name wasn't like Sylvester or Leonard or nothing, it was just, it was <laughs> yeah. just the captain. Everybody just kept saying the captain, the captain, the captain. I was like, man, that's dumb. That's dumb. But all right, let's go, let's go on to the, to the main slide. <laughs> I'm kind of interested with y'all, which y'all gonna rate this as so so get a good glimpse. Oh, man. Mm. All right. I'll go ahead. I'll I'll start with mine first. I, I give this a, about a six point eight in a good territory. Mm. All right, I'll go to Amazing next. What you're rating for this movie? I was gonna say six point five. Okay, so you're a six point five, you're in a good territory. Wally, what you're rating for this movie? Yeah, meet Wally. <laughs> I, I keep forgetting that. Oh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna hit it at six point five right now. Okay, okay. So Wally's in a good territory. Casey, Fred, what's your rating for the movie? <laughs> uh, um. Okay, so. Mm, all right, it wasn't very good. Everybody at six point five. <laughs> that surprised me too. Oh man, um, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna have to put it at. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just it seemed slow at the beginning and it started picking up later on. So, mm -hmm. um, man. It's a thriller. That's how it goes, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Slow build up. Yeah. I, I, I put it as six point seven five. How about that? That's. that's you said six point seven five. Yeah. <laughs> you did all that for six point seven five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just say, just say seven. You know you want to give it a seven. Just say seven. <laughs> Y'all doing too much, man. Oh, all this in between, why y'all doing all this in between shit? This this pick a six, a seven, an eight, a nine. Just, nah, just, nah, you you, you break it out how you want to. Nah, we get we get here. Y'all do that middle shit. Y'all do that middle shit a lot. I thought this was the worst review ever. Average though, five is average. I put it in the middle, man. Just pick the damn number. It's one through ten. Just pick the number. Yeah, but pick the number is actually. We we do we do percentages here. Sorry, CLS. What's your what's your uh rating? They were doing like 6.2 and all this type of shit. All right. How about 6.2? <laughs> I'm just, just going to give it a six. How about that? <laughs> uh, you're going to give it a six? six. It's just a six. So between just a average six. and good. So Pretty you're much. between average like, and good? Like, like I would, like if I was hanging on with somebody and they never saw it, I would watch it again, but I ain't going to break my neck to watch it again. But like, what? Yeah, we're going to get to that. But so you got it at a six, just average a six. and good. No, all right. Shit. Just a six. So you're the, you're the outlier. Why'd you rate it a six? Um, you want me to start from the beginning? I don't want to just run through the whole movie because I could. Because I really not just uh, give your back, get like a like a general sum summary why you rated it a six. Because I just thought, and I know it's just a film, you know what I mean. But I, I feel like all of the events in this film could happen in real life, right? Would you, you guys agree? Right. Yeah. So, so I think some of the things that some of the events, some of the things that happened in the movie were just unrealistic. It did. Yeah. I just it's not. It wasn't believable to me. It, it really wasn't. It, it really wasn't. Okay. okay. I don't know if you want to, we can talk about the scenes later, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna realistic. we're gonna dive into that. So it's just unrealistic yeah. to you. Unrealistic just all the stuff that happened. Oh yeah. Oh dude. I can't wait till we start breaking it down, bro. I yeah, yeah, no, that we definitely Ooh, going in. Because I, I kinda agree. Mm-hmm. I can tell you too. All right, Casey Fred, why'd you give it a six point seven two three five four <laughs> slash ten? Yeah. <laughs> six point seven. <laughs> Six seven. <laughs> I think um, it wasn't. A, I didn't even realize that it was a thriller until people started dying. And mm -hmm. once the mom all of a sudden died, it just seemed like it became real. 
And then it just started picking up from there. And then, uh, then that's when I said to myself, okay, now we got a Scooby-Doo case on, on, on the scene and now we got to figure some things out. And what is this all about? And so, um, and you know, that's when you become detective that at least that's the way Rose was. And you just went from there. And then, like I said, she's trying to figure out, you know, why are all these things happening? And why are these, uh, her mom had to die? Because at the end of the day, she never wanted to be involved in the first place, if you remember correctly. Her exactly. mom had to convince her. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't for the love of a mom, she would have never even went down this road. And mm -hmm. then the very thing that she loved is the first thing that she loses. So I was like, okay, we all going down this rabbit hole. And mm -hmm. so it, it picked up from there. But like I said, if it wasn't for that and then it become the thrill and it picked up from there and it took off, but it was slow at the beginning. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's Rose was bored. I was bored. I was just like, okay, I'm about no, to no, no nachos. Throw this movie away. No, no nachos. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and but I mean, it, it 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 came. It you know it it did what it was supposed to do. And so, like I said, I, I can't even go there with a seven, even if I wanted to. But um, as far as very good, but uh, good. You know, I yeah, we could put it right there. So that's where I was. All right, all right. Wally, why'd you why'd you give it the rating that you gave it? Six point five. Yeah, so you know, like again, right? Um what what you see is it somewhat realistic? Again, somewhat, yeah, towards the beginning. Mm -hmm. For most of it towards later on, it was just a little bit offbeat. You know, it's like I, I get what they're doing, you know, they're selling the entertainment part about it, but mm -hmm. it's like Overall, it's just like okay, you're taking a little bit too much over the notch, yeah. so it was just like okay, no. Um, other than that, I mean, like I said, I only put it at 6.5 morally because I think, at least for what it is, it was a good starting place, but it can definitely just be considered more so average later down the line based upon opinion. So, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, all right, amazing. Mm -hmm. I thought it was um, good. I definitely thought that, I mean, human trafficking is a very real thing. So I think all of that was, of course, very realistic. I thought, I mean, obviously some of the fighting scenes were unrealistic, but most of the movies are, I, I think all movies are, for the most part, have that unrealistic sense. But overall, I thought it was good. So that's why I went to six five. All right. Yeah, the reason I gave it like a, the rating I did was pretty much like I said, it, it did start off a little slow, mm -hmm. but I did kind of like the, I'll say beginning dynamic where it looked like the mom was like kind of just in that rope move desperation mode. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I like how they kind of captured that. And yeah, you know, then when it kind of started spiraling, you know, the, there was some action. I think the middle was pretty good. It picked up. Then the end, it kind of like fell off a little bit. We're gonna definitely get in that. So I, I, I thought it was good, like Wally said, for what it was about, like a boat action thriller in the water. I thought that mm -hmm. was a little different because you know, typically it's like in some woods and shit like that. So I, yeah. I like how they kind of did it on the water a little bit. So that did that. That's why I kind of bumped up the score a little bit. But other than that, it was yeah, <laughs> but I think the one average, thing like he, Wally said, well, Captain Phillips in the water too. Captain Phillips. Music yeah, Phillips? that was an award. But that was yeah. that, I think that was based off a true story. But it yeah, was. I'm just saying, it as was. far as that, yeah, that this thriller, I thought it was like somewhat decent. That De definitely right. too. They they but they were what? like, we're cramming all action in this shit. We want everything to happen, so it did get yeah. a little out of yeah. hand. But I like but what Wally was saying. Thing, oh, go ahead, Wally. No, real quick, yeah, no, real quick. Um, because the only one thing though, too, in the early parts of it that was so unrealistic is how the heck you get shot in the arm, you get put in the water. And then magically you've been in the water for like almost what a couple of days or so, and then magically you're still alive. What was uh, it? Um, wasn't that like the next morning or was it the next day? Yeah, it wasn't like the next day. The way I, think was the next, I think it was the next I day. Tell. I couldn't tell. But it, it was just and very was... yeah, because it's just the way, like for me, it's like if your body was in the water, unless it was like you was literally above water where you're getting some type of air fine but other than that if you were literally in that water 
I don't see you surviving that much. Like the water, the amount of water mm-hmm. that probably is going in your body, you probably be yeah. done by then. He was, so, he, like, was on, he was floating. He was floating on his back though. Yeah, yeah, right. I, yeah. When they showed him, but that's why I'm like, I don't know if he was like that overall, because that's not how yeah. I would see. Because you would at point. least think, right? You would have seen somebody eventually out there. And now, granted, depending on, because it was nighttime, so probably she didn't mm-hmm. see nobody. So mm-hmm. she might, so he might have been like that. But you know, it was just a little bit off. But yeah. Yeah, that that my man was like Jason yeah. Voorhees. That cat wouldn't die, man. <laughs> so. it, it wasn't. It wasn't like, and, it, and I don't know if his arm, maybe his hand got caught in like the rope. It was something on the side of the boat. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was the rope. Yeah, it was the rope. And he was just kind of yeah, like, his, like well, his arm and his body. So I guess I think yeah. um, if you if you go back to look at, it, I think when he got popped, he ended up dragging one of those the rope with him as he got yeah. in the water. Mm-hmm. So I think that was the one thing that saved him. Also, yeah. Yeah. But let's let's go ahead and jump into questions because yeah we like I like that scene and stuff let's, yeah we go ahead and start breaking it down so let me ask you guys I'm gonna pair them together would you recommend this movie to anyone and would you watch this again I'll start with amazing uh yes to both all right so Wally would you recommend this to movie to anyone and would you watch this again uh for the initial view I would say yes for the watch again part. After you watch it the first time, you're more likely not willing to watch it again, <laughs> just for certain parts of it. Just for certain parts of it, because it's, it's just off. So no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. What about you, Casey, Fred? I would probably uh, agree with Wally and say yes and no. Um, I, yeah, I'm like, once you see it once, that's not something you'd be like, oh yeah, let me go ahead and bust out dangerous waters again. So no. Mm-hmm. All right, what about you, CLS? I actually wa- I did watch it again with a friend today. I suggested I was like, hey, you want to watch this? <laughs> and, she, and she liked it. She was like, well, you know, I thought I thought it was okay. I thought it was a good movie. I was like, yeah, I mean, there were good things about it, but it wasn't that good. It was just okay. Yeah, when was, they say okay, this shit okay. average. <laughs> it, it was just okay. You know what I mean? I, I'm a big Ray Liotta fan, so that was he was my motivation for watching it from, from jump. So, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah actually, ask her where she would rate this movie. Huh? When you get a chance, ask her what she would rate this movie. I, w- I would like she to see said, what she okay, would say. Okay, that's average. Well, she <laughs> okay. That's she average. said good, so I guess that's average. She said it was well, good. yeah. Well, if she good. said okay, no, 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 okay, because when I heard I said, okay, I say average. I said okay. She said good. I said man. Just, oh, okay. She said good. She okay. said good. Well, she said slightly above good. average. Then I was like, man, you mean you expect? Come on, man. You, you expect me to believe her hundred pound ass took out a whole fucking crew? She took the. He literally took out the whole fucking crew. We're going to break it down. We're going to break it yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Let me answer this real quick. So I, I like what you guys said. I would recommend this. Somebody watch this. Just I, I thought it was more of a comedy <laughs> like yeah, than bro. a thriller. But Thanks. would I watch this movie again? No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I got, I got the plot. But let me go ahead and start with uh, what do you think about the plot of the storyline? I'll toss it to you, CLS. Like, like I said, I, 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 thought the, like the, I thought the plot, I thought the storyline was good. When it just, but when in the beginning, like I said, it started all great, and then you know after the mom got killed, you, you know she, you know she dies at twenty six minutes, you know, and then, this movie is an hour and forty minutes. She, she's dead at twenty six minutes, and then the, was the dude named um, fuck, the the guy, the guy she was dating, what was his name Eric? No, no, that's his real name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know his name. Well, the guy from the boat, you know. Yeah. They they both dead supposedly dead at twenty six minutes. Oh, and Derek, that was his name, Derek. Derek. Yeah, yeah that's right. Twenty six minutes. Her mom is dead. He's, she thought he was dead. We thought he was dead, and then he's floating the next day. And yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, I don't know good. if you want me to start going through the scenes, but I was just like, no, nah, well, we'll I, do it. We're we'll let it, let me get everybody through that, and we'll start breaking down the scenes. So, uh, mm-hmm. Casey, Fred, what did you think about the plot or the storyline? I kind of like what I was saying before. It was just at the beginning it was it was slow and. You know, I felt like me and Rose was yawning at the beginning. And I'm like, mm-hmm. you know, and maybe because I'm an action person. So I was like, come on, what's what's going on? You know, and I think we were all asking Mama why we got to go. And I was asking myself, why, why, why am I still watching this? And then, like I said, it don't, for me, it didn't pick up. And actually, to me, I felt like the movie didn't really start until the mama died. And then that's when all of a sudden you're like, okay, now we got to find out what's really going on. Because 
you know, there was all kinds of clues on the boat, you know, with the gun, the knife, all this extra stuff. You find out who, you know, he got a badge. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going on. Then, of course, she finds pictures and stuff like that. But it, it was like, uh, what's they say, the little breadcrumbs, you know what I mean, to lead you back to the house to find out what the real truth is all about. And I mm -hmm. felt like that was the journey that we were all taking. You know, we were all Hansel and Gretel, you know, mm -hmm. we're trying to figure out where is this supposed to end and where it's supposed to go, which eventually, you know, I can honestly say the director took us there. It just took a long time to get there. Even though this was a short movie, it felt way longer than what it was. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys all have to agree on that one. So, yeah. yeah. yeah they did. Cool. All right. Let me get yeah. Wally on there. What did you think about the plot of the storyline? Uh. Yeah, I got. I think like pretty much what everyone else is saying. It's it was all right for what it was. Um, my only thing that you know, well, I know this is not the question right now, but my only thing when I look at the plot or the storyline, I wouldn't really call this a thriller. I would actually call this a little bit more so mystery, more than anything else. Okay. Because you because you would you would think you would have to you know solve this as a you know a clue thing. I mean the thriller component is still in there because of course it's going to arrive to that part but I think this would have been more so like a more of a mystery thing because of course all these things that come along the way of why the lies why saying you don't know who this person is why don't act like you don't know what you owe and rea reality you owe something and you know everything like that and so it, it was just very you know off the hinge a little bit here and there um, it definitely did pick up like around the time once you start seeing like noticeable things um, at first, when the you know the, when Rose had um, popped open on the seat and showed the guns, I'm thinking to myself at first, well, I think it was pretty fair assumption because it's like, okay, what what happens if you you know there was like fish or whatever like that or you know God forbid shark, I don't know what parts of the waters they were at, so you know, hey, why not? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, don't pay the that I didn't pay that no mind ultimately yet, but then when um with that right right in that moment when it's dark and you know she's off but she walks off to the back because she was just drunk and next you know you hear that nice thud and then you start hearing the the screaming and the talking of the guys i'm like oh oh yeah it's going there it's going there now <laughs> and you know that's pretty much right there like yeah you, you know it got real when you when you, when you when you she got shot but i think one of the biggest parts of this like towards the beginning part that you knew if you were willing to watch it early on was the really the beginning when you saw her all jagged up, that was the thing that was like, oh yeah, this is gonna keep me in because I want to know why she got jagged up like that. Okay, let's. Yeah. Okay. All right. Amazing. What did you think about the plot of the storyline? I thought the plot again was good, just because I almost thought it was like again a warning to people, which I don't know if I'm just a paranoid person in general, maybe a little bit. Um, but I thought right away, like, what is this lady doing bringing her daughter on this boat with this man? She she barely knows. I mean, but people do crazy things, I think, all the time anyways. Uh, so I thought the plot was, it, it was a good plot. Some of the storylines, you know, specifically when we're getting into the characters, that's where I thought, I mean, I thought it made for a good movie, but um, definitely thought it was unrealistic, so. Yeah, and so for me to tackle it, uh... <laughs> The plot and the storyline was kind of cheesy to me, but I think that's what made it like good for me because it was just so kind of corny, mm -hmm. but it was like entertaining. You know, one of those type of movies. But I like what Wally was saying as far as the mystery, because I, I didn't think like the guy was that. I didn't think nothing about the guns and stuff. You know, I just like, hey, he's going on his boat. He probably likes his action stuff, you know, going out there shooting off stuff. Mm -hmm. And then... uh you know, the, the funny part about the movie, I thought they just had the worst, I'll say, henchmen ever. They, was like, they really like, did. They those, really did. Those guys were just so low budget and weak. They were. And for, for the build up for like, a, that's what I thought the plot line was funny because, you know, when he started talking about like the captain and them, he was like, hey, man, like he's done some stuff just super scary and then for them to how to get like wiped out like that you know i just thought it was hilarious like so. yeah dude mm. Mm, mm, mm. that's when he yeah, was telling but, us he was telling that story on the beach whenever, whenever yeah yeah i thought it was gonna be some like, like yeah. crazy type of situation like yeah. these guys were gonna be like the top-notch mercs but 
here she comes is wiping them out shot like the gun <laughs> like at a water uh bottle yeah. one time and now all of a sudden yeah. she's a <laughs> now she the fucking she's john wick yeah she's the equalizer now yeah yeah, yeah. Well, she, was like, she had practice but no. i will say i thought right, right away um but also i might have had like a information because i've actually i went to a conference once and um there was like actually i've been to two separate conferences where human trafficking was um topics right um so as soon as i saw that like i i thought he was sketchy right away but as soon as she saw that gun i was like oh he's about to sell them mm -hmm. um i knew like right away like he he's about to sell them mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. but all right let me let me jump into what scenes our performances stuck out and I'll go to amazing first one at. Um, of course, like I said, as soon as as soon as I saw that gun, I thought for sure, like, oh, he's about to sell them. Um, the other scenes that stuck out, I know you guys will talk of, about her, her all of a sudden, like ninja skills. So I'll leave those alone. But yeah, um, MMA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. one of the scenes that really, yes, I mean. One of the mm -hmm. scenes that really stuck out to me that I just thought was super sad was um, when she, first of all, knowing she couldn't swim and then she kind of like, um, you know, he saves her. It's like she saved him and he saved her mm -hmm. um, from, you know, different, different portions. But when she was transferring or trying to transfer her mom's body to the raft oh, because she didn't want her to go, I thought yeah. that was just a super sad scene. But then I was also thinking... I mean, you've already been out there a couple of days. She probably would have started to stink. Um, so, I mean, maybe it was a good thing. But I thought that was just a sad scene. And then the scene um, when Derek literally, like, told her, like, I, yeah, I was going to sell you to the captain. That This this is what was going mm -hmm. to work out for me. I, I <laughs> He's was trying to save his own ass. Yeah. yeah. Trying to save his own ass. I was just you. surprised he said it. Yeah, so um, I'd say those. I'll stick with those scenes um, for now. Again, it, it was just like when I saw the mom was taking her, I was like, you dummy. Mm -hmm. But again, I mean, people do dumb stuff all the time. He he wanted to bang her, though. He was like, then they saw you and your mom. I saw that I saw, when I saw that you were You're hot. hot I was too. like, wow, win win. <laughs> You're hot. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so fucked up. He's yeah, he was a, he was a, I think he made the movie, man. Cause like I said, he just was so like, like amazing was saying, like when he just was telling all this stuff, like I, even if I'm like a super killer and stuff and I had no morals, I'm just going to hold some stuff in. Like I, I would have played the nice guy, got out of there and did, but he was like, look, I'm, I'm going to put it all on the line. But I, just going back, one of the performances that stuck out, I think it was the mom. Cause the whole time I was like, what a shitty mom. Like she brings her daughter on the boat just to get like pounded out. Like exactly, <laughs> like, dude. That's the same like, thing. <laughs> she didn't have to come. Yeah, she damn near the mom was like, she damn near was like, hey, meet your meet your new dad. We gotta lock this in, girl. You better play your role. Like, so I was just thinking that in the beginning part. I'm like, what kind of yeah. mom just does that? Have your kid in such pl close proximity and shit on a tight ass yeah. boat. Yeah, so I was like, man, that's that's a messed up, but so that stuck out to me and then like like i said just the the main the one guy derek his character i thought was just hilarious man my man was like i, I told you michael myers and jason Voorhees. my that dude just wouldn't die he <laughs> so, really wouldn't. <laughs> so yeah those two characters i would say those were the two, two things that stuck out to me or, or this whole thing oh and the one scene when uh in the beginning when she asked about the boat name for the Mm -hmm. you know and then he finally told her like he made that slip like hey yeah that was my wife's name and stuff so yeah my mm -hmm. man was this mm -hmm. habitual liar in this movie which was. which was uh which made the movie for me so mm -hmm. i'll go ahead and pass it to wally what uh scenes or performances stuck out to you all right so as far as actors wise i think rose was the main one for me honestly as much as i can remember um, like I said, like right when the opening came in, her being jagged up, sitting right there in that chair, showing like all the bruises and the damages, it was like it was oh, the clear okay, common okay. sense of that. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, this is gonna this is what's gonna allow me to watch this fully in because I want to know why she got jagged up. It's a nice marketing play. 
Mm-hmm. I like that, and I can respect that. Yeah, no, that would that would right. I like movies like that. I can yeah. name a couple. Yeah. Um, and then as it gone into it, now I will I will have to uh, funny enough agree that you know yeah drag it into like pretty much your little date scenario, bringing it along was a little bit trashy in a sense, especially on the boat with just with one guy. But at the same time, it's like. You know, if this happened the other way around where she didn't go and, you know, she dies, it's like, now what do you really do? <laughs> like, it's like, it's yeah. like eh, that if you do, that if you don't. But, um, yeah, j- just one of the many parts that uh, I can honestly sit here and say that I actually had uh, just liked about her or her performance overall is just um, her willingness to adapt. I think that was the major play in this, especially knowing where they were, because um they did show a scenery where they started to show like, yeah, you're definitely deep in the waters, stranded. So I'm like, the fact that you're able to pick up certain things, you know, very quick, even though that that's how they placated out, um, being able to just, you know, be very scrappy with as much as you can just to learn certain things. It, it just goes to show you as much as bored as she may have been in that whole movie, at least she listened enough to remember certain things that was told to her because if she didn't, she would have been sitting there like a sore thumb asking mm-hmm. herself, what the freak do I do now? Um, I will sit here and say, yes, it was very much a sad moment, but also a smart moment that she wrapped her mother up. Mm-hmm. I think the only thing I would have probably, hopefully, if she could have done, if, since she didn't have the resources, was at least clean up the blood off her body. But, it, you know, you, you can't get everything, right? Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, that was pretty much really, uh, you know, very ugly. And then, of course, being able to see um, old school pictures of the dude with the other guys that were literally on the boat attacking him, mm-hmm. you know, that right there was like one of those clear signs of, oh, you have history with these guys. Even interesting. This mm-hmm. makes it even more fun because we all know when there's history, there's always some flashbacks. And boy, <laughs> it leads to hell. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can I add on to what, what Wally was saying? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, um, yeah. Um, and two other movies that were kind of like that too, where it, that shows you like one of the big scenes in the film to kind of get you to grab your attention, and then it kind of hits the reset button and kind of shows you all of the events that happened prior to that that scene, like uh, Goodfellas and uh, Get Rich or Die Trying was like that too. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, I was thinking about it. Yeah, you're right. They really were. Yeah. Yeah, were the, those um, were those the guys? At the very, I mean, I was gonna rewind and and check, but I forgot about it. But were the bad guys? Were those the guys from the very beginning parking lot before she got on the boat? Um, that no. was trying to. Oh no! I was thinking no. that, but I'm like, no, it didn't. It didn't look like them, unless no, they had okay. like, um, you know. No, nah, that wasn't them. Nah, could they, okay. they docked. They left. They left, They were in Florida, right? Wasn't that Florida? Yeah, they that left, was Florida. The, the boat was docked. Yeah. Oh, that was in Florida. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was Florida. Yeah, I had to go back. I went back and watch it. Yeah, it was Florida, and I guess they were headed to what Bermuda. Yeah, that was yeah around that area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But all right, let me get Casey Fred on there. So, what scenes and performances stuck out to you? The, uh, I would probably say the closeness of the mom and the daughter, and they kept showing that, um, and the tender moments that they had, which, of course led to her death it it seems like that's how a lot of movies are Uh, when you see that interaction you know something is really about to happen and um they they set you up for trauma and so i saw that um the part that really got me so bad is nobody was going to uh be able to live up to her dad obviously her dad showed her some things like especially when she was able to you know pick up things quickly like whether it was with the knot or with the knife or even with the gun you know the mom had to explain oh yeah her daddy taught her that you know but i don't like you know violence and all this other stuff and then the the tender moment of the the birthday and have the cake this you know rose had holding up to her and stuff and then i believe that's also the same night where all of a sudden she was getting her groove on or whatever. <laughs> and Rose is asking herself, Ooh, why yeah. am I still here? I, I should have never been here, you know? Yep. And then, uh, and so, which of course leads her to be to realize 
this dude is not my daddy. I need to be able to start investigating and see what he's made of. And then that's when she, she starts finding pictures and starts finding all this other stuff. One scene that really got me was the simple fact of how fast he was on the, uh, when she rescued him, he was on the, you know, the edge of the boat, just on his back. Mm -hmm. And then she went to go get something and he was already boom, had got up, was in there in the cabin and everything. And, and he was, talking to her like, you know, I hope you can do, find this better than you can tie me up with my arm or something like that. It was like, right, right, yeah, I just yeah, let yeah. your mother know, uh, kind of like what Jerk was saying that, yeah, this guy is going to be a handful and, you know, when it's time to kill him, it's not going to be an easy win. And so those were like some of the things that just kind of like stuck out to me. And then, of course, the hitchmen and stuff. And <laughs> mm -hmm. They were the worst. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's downstairs. She's downstairs. <laughs> Ooh, let me just walk out here. My gun and my waist. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They must have found them dudes that like Chuck E. Cheese. Like, hey man, y'all, y'all wasn't y'all want to be in a movie? <laughs> oh, no, Come with us. Movie. But you oh, know what? Yeah. Your henchman Larry. Henchman <laughs> 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 Bill. But you know what, real quick, because I would add this crazy. to what Fred was saying. But that would be that would be part of the reason, right? Like what you're saying right there with the whole mother and daughter relationship and just showing the importance of that relationship. Mm -hmm. That would also be the reason why it, it sort of starts slow, right? Because they want to make it rememberable, right? Mm -hmm. and it was the good piece in the beginning. So it made it rememberable because one, once you get this nice memorable piece, it's gonna be all gone. And boy, when it got <laughs> everything yeah, else, oh we... right. <laughs> mm-hmm. It sure did. Oh boy. Yeah. Sure Just to did. keep it a bug. If I had a mom like that, I probably would have threw that shit in the water, you know, <laughs> after dragging me in all that mess. I would have like, mom, yeah. you, you had me out on this boat. Because, you know, even in the beginning, the guy was like, he was showing them signs of like a, a dude that just over the top because, you know, he's just grabbing her, the mom all crazy in front of the girl, like showing no mm. restraint or anything. So, yeah, I was like, man, I was like, this mm. mom don't care. She's like, I need a husband. Shut up. She was desperate, man. Like she was probably yeah. only one of desperate, lonely chicks. You know what I mean? Like she just wanted yeah. a man, and she was like, "I don't want you to end up like me." You know what I mean? I want you to have, some, you know, have a husband or have someone in your life that loves you and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. But all right, let me uh, toss it to CLS for what what scenes and performances stuck out to you. Some of the stuff you, you guys already covered. Um, let me see. Oh, okay. I, I'll add on. I think what I think Fred said it. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, when he was talking about. Um, what her her what her dad taught her and before he died because he said remember they're on the beach and they were talking she said he uh, he got blown up in iraq and there was no pieces of him to send home or something like that so maybe yeah except on a landmine or something i don't know but did you see it doesn't really she didn't really go into detail about that but he taught her some things but he didn't teach her how to shoot because she was like remember when she was shooting the ar-15 on the boat and he was just like and he was like you sure you sure this is your first time that's what the dude that was his name derek that was his name yeah derek yeah, he was just like, you sure it was the first time? And then she tells him on the beach, she confesses. She was like, no, well, my mom doesn't like violence. But she said her co-worker was the one that actually taught her how to shoot a gun, like a handgun or something like that, the co-worker. So her dad never taught her how to shoot. So it was like, yeah, the co-worker taught her that. And then that's when he tells her um, about the captain and they're working together and then he decided to rob him. Oh, yeah. And that was the one thing I wanted to ask, ask everybody in case um, you guys might remember. When they initially, when they came to the boat and they were looking for something, I'm, I mean, are we to assume it was money? Maybe he stole money from the captain? Because he was like, because remember when the other guy went down in the cabin, the bottom cabin, where, where uh, was it, what was the girl's name again? The daughter's name again? Rosa? Rosa. Yeah, Rosa. Rosa. Yeah, 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 Rosie, that's it. So she's hiding in the bottom cabin. And then he was like, and then he, then the captain was like, found it. He says, is it all there? He said, yeah, it's all here. So was that a bag of money that he stole? Because he did steal something it, from him. He was trying to get it. Is, yeah, that's you, know, that's what I you think it was money? They don't, really, they don't really say what it but, was. Yeah. Yeah, but when they said it all there, I mean, usually when you think about something like, is it all there? It's usually money. Usually money. Yeah. That's yeah, what I was that's thinking. what it usually be. But yeah. I think wherever they put, because wherever he put that, whatever mm -hmm. they were looking for, mm -hmm. it was definitely somewhere Rosa never touched yeah. to look for the stuff because it, because literally that's the only other way. Because yeah, if she didn't see it, then it's like, okay, yeah, we don't know what it is either. So 
Yeah, because she was snooping around the whole time she was on that boat. She was down there just snooping right. around, just looking in drawers and all that. So, yeah. yeah. So that that stood out. Um, and, and just the fact that, um, well, the, the mother, before the mother died, she does make the comment. She was like, yeah, Rose likes to fight. You know what I mean? She knows how to fight. So we knew she had some kind of fight in her background, but it doesn't really go into detail. I was I was kind of hoping they would show like a flashback of her doing like MMA in the gym or something. Because she's only a senior in high school. Yeah. I don't know if you caught it. I'm, I'm guessing she's she's a she's a senior in high school when she works at a, a you know at a hotel right or a motel yeah, or right. right so right. yeah the way so how I, much, I caught it oh yeah go ahead, go ahead. To, to, no, I'm just gonna say how much training could she possibly have if she's a senior in high school when she works part time at a at a, a hotel or was it a motel one of the one of them, I think a hotel or something like that right yeah. she had the coworker that taught her how to fire a gun okay I give you that so I, she didn't tell her mom because your mom doesn't like guns and violence and all that and she also knows how to fight. But how, dude, how much MMM? I mean, how much training could she have? You know, saying to be able to take a whole crew out like that, or even, or better yet, even fight, even fight Derek back. I mean, he only had one good arm, but still, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. she probably took like two Cobb McGraw classes. Yeah, no. she, would she take two karate <laughs> classes or something? I was like, how much training could you possibly have? You're sitting, you know, and you sitting here sneaking, smoking cigarettes and all kind of stuff. I mean, I just wish they would have showed a flashback at her in the gym or something. That's that's all. Right. Makes sense. I, I like you that. said, hy hyped it up a little bit where like, yeah. man, the mom was like, man, you know, she goes to, she trains like three times, yeah. you know, she got a kid's trophy for something, you know, yeah. Yeah, they didn't say anything. Cause yeah, she was chain smoking. Nothing. She got the lug capacity of like a 50 year old. <laughs> her um, mom was, a, her mom was a chain smoker. Yeah, and she was in Rose is in there sneaking cigarettes because she smoked one before she got on a boat too, I think, before she got on the right, boat. Yeah, because yeah. you remember her mom was like, I know you smoke. <laughs> yeah, because she walked over there smelling like, smelling like, like I don't know, was it like, what was she smoking? Uh, probably Marlboro Lights or some shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One thing, was, one thing, yeah, I think, um, Marlboro Lights. What, what is it? Yeah, it mentioned more likely, I think what you were talking about earlier about, um, I forgot what exactly, I, I don't remember what she, they mentioned exactly, but I know like after the fact that when the mother came home, mm -hmm. and she went to work. More mm -hmm. likely somewhere in the midst of that, that's where she usually will go train. I think that's what they said. And then at the night time, she goes to work. Yeah, uh, I think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. So maybe she trained at the MMA gym or something, but I just wish they would, yeah. you know, explain yeah, it. They, you know what I mean? I think that would have made it better. My, my score would be yeah, higher. Than, that would be higher. Yeah, because that's my only thing. Yeah, the, the yeah. visual. Yeah, because usually that's what the misgaps be like. Mm -hmm. If you if you miss a lot of the stuff, because what you guys were saying, like I didn't even hear. I didn't. Rem, I don't even remember the father part. So it's like oh, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Some of the, the stuff I missed. Oh the, oh, oh, the father dying in Iraq. Yeah, I didn't. Even, yeah, I didn't, even yeah, I didn't catch that either. So yeah. That was on the beach. That's when they was on the beach though, and they were talking. Uh, and then. And then he tried to be slick. He tried to, he started showing her the different different ways to tie the knot. And he was like, Well, you tie it like this. Can you get out of there? And can you tie it? If you were tied it like this, can you get out of there? You know what I'm saying? He was doing all that and he was being nice to her. And then he got creepy. <laughs> That's when he got creepy. I was gonna say there's when he was like, let me, I was like, why would you put your hands out like that? You did like I knew right away. Like he was on, trying to bang guys. them both. He thought he could bang them both, especially after the mom died. He said, your mom was hot. Well, she's dead now, but yeah, you know, I decided to let you tag her. Initially, I didn't want you to come along at all, but, you know, you're here, and then once I saw that you were hot, win-win. I just thought it was a win-win. <laughs> yeah, he was, uh, he was definitely... Do. He was trying to bang. He go was. ahead, Jerk. Oh, no, go ahead. I'll, I'll go after you. I was going to say, the other scene, just like in that whole time frame, is when um, he pulled out the wedding ring, and she was like, did you take yeah. that off her finger? <laughs> He did. <laughs> he was like, "Look, I'm a pawn this shit." <laughs> he took it off, yo. I said, "Oh, that's funny." Common day. No, but that, that's what I'm saying. I, I think with his though. character, man, they did a good job, like going up and down. Because you remember when uh, he got pulled out of the water, he was like, "You know, mm -hmm. I bought that uh, mm -hmm. necklace for your mom." So it's like, lie. damn, maybe he is a good guy. You know, he been like, you know, when he gave the story, he was like, man, you think I've been going to that shitty diner for like all those years to, <laughs> for the food? So I was like, damn, okay, he really liked the mom and stuff. And, you know, got her the mm -hmm. necklace. And then later on, he was like, yeah, I didn't buy that necklace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, but you know what made it bad. But my, this is my thing, right? Yeah, no. You yeah, know, so it's part of him that really make him look really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sleazy. Mm -hmm. When the feet, when um Rose asked her, uh, who's uh such and such because the name of the boat, right? Yeah, it was like he was like, I don't know. No, I'm he like, said, how you don't know? No, he said, no, he 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 said the boat was secondhand. 
Oh, he so said the boat was secondhand, so he just bought he, it. He said it was secondhand. He, he just bought it from his body, and it was the name was already uh, on the boat. Okay, that's what he said. Yeah, that's that what he said. That was the first lie he told her. That was yeah, the okay, very first lie he told her. Like, you know exactly what that name on there mm-hmm. is for. <laughs> don't, don't be acting. Don't be saying that. I mean, it's no, that's why I said my man was slick, man. He was like, yeah, you know, you buy a boat, everybody name. It's just like when Forrest Gump got his Jenny, you know what I mean? Like, he's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's funny, but yeah. But I did like the the scene where he kind of he started breaking it down to her why he got like corrupt. He was like, "Look, man, I went to work. That yeah. shit sucked. I needed more money, pretty much." Oh, yeah. <laughs> His like explanation was just so basic and like, "Look, I'm greedy. Like, I just felt I deserved more. Like, pretty much." We, we, we said the game was rigged. He said yeah, the game was, he said he learned that the game was rigged the whole time. So he said the game's rigged. I mean, why should I play fair? I'm gonna play dirty like everybody else. And then he ended up trying to you're robbing the captain. You know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, so man, I just thought that man, and then the last scene that I'll, I'll touch on since nobody hit it was the one where he fell from the clip, and I'm just like, man, this yeah. dude is clip. <laughs> <laughs> he should have been dead, yo, when he fell off that clip. It was the way he <laughs> fell that made that like that. That was hilarious, man. When he fell, he screamed on his way down, and then like his leg was all bloody and stuff. I said, man, he should be dead. The way he fell, he should be. He, he should have died there. Yeah, so I was like, man, it's a wrap for him after that. So, but when he came back on the boat, I was like. <laughs> All right, <laughs> exactly. Because he had that device. What was it? That that EP thing. That that device he was using. Yeah. To make the call. Yeah. He said, "I got it working. You know, just messing wires around. I got it working. You know, how do you get off the beach?" <laughs> <laughs> but you know, even island. after that drop and all that stuff, man, he was like walking fine on the boat. He just had like a little yeah. limp, like man. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Two. He should have two broken arms, two broken legs. Oh man, he, he should have been brain dead, damn near. Yeah. That was a that was a high cliff, man. That was no yeah. regular drop. My man hit that sand. I was like, damn. It was high. It was high too. It was the way he felt. It looked funny I, as hell. The way he felt. Well, especially considering like the captain, I thought if anybody was gonna pop back up. It was going to be the captain, not Derek. Keep going, coming back and back and back. Oh yeah, nah, he just yeah, damn, damn near uh, Ray Lee Otis character. He he damn near died in like three seconds. I, I thought because yeah. you know the way they hyped the yeah. captain up, I was like, she just got her there beat beat my man down with the the screwdriver, and it was a wrap for him. I was like, yeah. damn, that's the captain. He beat his ass with a wrench. <laughs> Shit, they should have made Derek the captain at that. Like, but they did show him on the beast though. They just didn't show a close up of his face. Do you notice that? Because he was the one yeah. who found the, the you know the bag or whatever he was looking for. And he was like, he's like, got it. And then they went and then they showed him. He was creepy as fuck too. Like, remember when she remember when she was like, I'm cold. She was like, I'm kind of cold. Can I take a shower? And she took a shower and then she got all dolled up and she was trying to seduce him. Because remember the dude Derek told her on the beast that he the captain likes young girls. Yeah, remember? So she, so uh-huh. she got all dolled up, so he let his guards down. <laughs> it, it yeah, but he was up. he was just so like weak and stuff because he was like, yeah, <laughs> you're, 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 you want to take the will? <laughs> but did you, you know? know <laughs> yeah, but, but did and you he died like she, two seconds later. <laughs> you know, you know how she was acting like a dumb blonde, and like she just didn't know anything. Even though Derek was teaching mm-hmm. all that stuff about the boat, he was like, well, how do you do this? How do you do that? Oh yeah, so I just pressed autopilot, put it back in auto. He was like, yeah, you put it like this. Oh yeah, I stepped on some coral when I was on the on the island. <laughs> or the beach. He was like, "Oh yeah, that can be poisonous." And you put some oint- put some ointment on it, and you know, put some what's it, hydrogen peroxide. You know, d- disinfect it. Yeah, he said, and he, was, God, he looked real crazy. Yeah, he, was, like, he, was yeah, he looked literally. I mean, I was looking out of it. See, I got a first date kit over there. I could put some ointment on there and some hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, we clean clean your wounds. Did you clean it right? Did you poison it? You don't clean it right. Yeah. That's <laughs> creepy yeah. as fuck, yo. <laughs> I was in tears on that part. I was laughing so hard. No, that's what I'm saying, man. It was like, a, uh, then after that, it was like the fight scenes because, you know, she had the fight scene with the other female. That was actually yeah. the best, the two female on female fight scene. I think that was, was probably the best one. But the rest of the guys was like yeah. bootleg yeah. henchmen. The MMA moves though, man, when she's fighting the the, the female, the chick. Yeah. That, that was that was a better fight scene than the other guy. She just picked them off like like they were ducks. Cause she got what shot like one, once or twice. Stabbed. What well, a dude, Derek, he, he grazed her on the beach. You remember he shot her in the ankle? Think yeah. He, he grazed her. Like look But like did she get a shot again on the boat? And then I know she got stabbed. So that, I'm dude. like, man. Derek kicked her down those stairs. She should have been, man. He kicked her down the stairs. Remember those, those all that steel, metal? Hey, that? Casey Fred, who was that kicker for uh, Casey? That, that's why my man Derek kicked her like that. Like he was <laughs> the, the punter for the <laughs> Chiefs or something. Yeah, it was one little blood puddle down there when he kicked her down those steep ass stairs. Man, all that, all that steel down there. And it, it, she just, uh, she's, yeah, he kicked dude, me. I would have been out for the whole movie. 
And what they would have to do a sequel to wake my ass up. Exactly, dude. She should have been unconscious. Like, two, like what, what was the scene? Was it, was it? Was it? I guess he was henchman Bill. That was the last dude that he picked her up with one arm and he picked her up in the air. Yeah, that, that dude one was kind of. I guess yeah. henchman Bill. No, he hit bunted her ass when he picked her up. He hit bunted her real hard, and he was like, "Why isn't she unconscious?" That was a hard hit bun. Oh yeah, nah, that's what I'm saying. That and yeah. the other one, I would have, yeah, henchman Bill. That dude was probably like 200 pounds at least. He was tall and he was big. He knocked her little. I think he was big. Yeah, he was huge. He headbunted yeah. her he ass. When was the last time I saw my headbunting you? You wasn't like Dave. I, I would have been out. That's what I'm saying. I, I would have been, been out. Yeah. Of there. Her little ass. She's probably like, look at you. Was 100 pounds wet. Hey, all right, well, Jones, hell of a drug. <laughs> I don't yeah. know, man. She should have been out, bro. I don't like a light. She should have been out. Don't two scenes. She should have been out when the dude headbunted her, and then when she got kicked down those stairs. She should have been. Yeah, out, it would have been a wrap for me. Right? Really? Like, no, no, for sure, for sure. You Stairs, those stairs. Dude, she tumbled down them fucking stairs and she was laying on her face and it was like a, a small little blood puddle right there. Yeah, right, she'd been, been a wrap. she been out for at least 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Easy. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the fourth question. So if you were the director or the producer of this movie, what would you change or do differently? And I'll start with uh, CLS on this one. Uh, like, I, like I mentioned before, just... I don't know, like when she, when she was, you know, when he was talking about her experience, you know, with the guns and her, her like, and her mom mentioning that she liked the fight. Maybe they show like a flashback scene of her in the gym working out or something. I thought that would have been cool. Get some more background on her, show some more stuff. Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe they would have kept the mom alive a little longer. I, I don't know, but I guess you know, the captain like him young. You know what I mean? You don't want some, you don't want some middle aged <laughs> chain smoker. So obviously they couldn't traffic her. So that's probably why they killed her early. She was dead in twenty six minutes. So, you know, she's a middleweight. I mean, always, you can't traffic a middleweight chain smoker, apparently. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mainly the daughter, you know what I'm saying? I just wish we got more back. Some flashbacks. Yeah. Some flashbacks. Okay. And some flashbacks would have been cool. Wouldn't it? Maybe kept the captain a little while. Well, well, I guess we, yeah, I guess that is what it is. What, what, what happened on the ship? Where, yeah, <laughs> taking out a whole crew by our single handedly taking out a whole crew like that. Yeah. It's, we would have to change. We would have to redo that whole scene, that whole boat scene. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, I agree with you on that. That yeah. that whole scene could have went down a different way. But let it me get a Casey Pratt on this. Let me yeah. see. If you were the director or producer of this movie, what would you change or do differently? I think I would have added somebody because I have to definitely <laughs> agree with TLS because how is the senior able to take out all these people? And so would have been really cool is if all of a sudden everybody was told that her dad had died, but then all of a sudden he was, you know, he was just undercover and he was still alive and maybe he was a sniper or something like that. And he just started, you know, taking them out you know, personally because he's military grade. That would have been kind of like really cool and coming back into her life in type of type, type of thing, you know, some just, needed to be more to it than the way it ended and the way she uh you know the fighting scenes was i just like i said for you supposed to be a senior come on man that's just i don't know i just felt like it was over the top type of thing but that would probably be the real big thing that i would change yeah definitely all right let me get wally on there if you were the director or producer of this movie what would you change or do differently uh, for sure, I'd add some flashbacks. Um, I think flashbacks would always curate, you know, just getting a nice, decent understanding. Um, the simple fact that I did not know the father or I did have no recollection of him, I think it would have been nice when they show him the house scene that they would show, uh, you know, a brief picture of them in a picture together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at least that would have been, cool. been a nice, decent signal. Um, you know, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of what Fred said, uh, adding an extra person. I think if there was, you know, like a cop maybe, or, you know, someone in, in the midst of this, where, you know, the mother, if she was still alive, you know, she could interact with him. And this would have been quote unquote, uh, another option where Rosa was actually more keen to this person a little bit than more than the other guy. And then of course, eventually the, the cop would eventually get involved in this whole transaction of this whole warfare. And I guess he would be the one to be a little bit more helpful to the scenery as far as just to make this a little bit more realistic. Pretty much it. All right. Amazing. What would you change or do differently? I maybe would have um, 
maybe just taken some of the scenes out to shorten it up a little bit. Um, specifically at the end, all the the fighting, just because I didn't think, ever, I mean, I, again, I thought it was fine for what it was, but I would have maybe just shortened it up a little bit by taking out some of those. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I got a couple different changes. Mm-hmm. I think uh, one one of them would be like if they wanted to like change the plot a little bit, make a uh, Derek at the end, maybe because he's like, man, he feels bad that the mom died. Like, look, I'm gonna kill, help you kill off the people on the boat, and I'll let mm-hmm. you get away. So they could have took that spin, so where mm-hmm. it would have been a little more realistic versus her <laughs> taking out everybody, mm-hmm. or like after she killed the captain. You know, she kind of freed some people and then like I think Amazing was going this route instead of all the fighting, which was just too over the top. Like maybe she blew up the boat or something. They got onto like a (laughs) skateboat and, you know, just did something, rigged the boat to blow up, you know, or something like that. You know, where it just took everybody out where she didn't have to take out the whole team by herself. Mm -hmm. Or, you, you know, my third spin would be like if they kept the mom alive, maybe she was just shot. Like they took the mom off the boat when they first came on as like mm-hmm. a hostage because they didn't see her. And then once she saved her mom off of that, you know, maybe Derek was like, hey, I do like like love your mom. I was going to sell you, but hey, hey, let me take out the captain and them and y'all get out of here. Like he died trying to save him after he wiped him out. Then they got off there. So mm-hmm. one of those three options, I think, would have been better for that boat scene. Mm-hmm. But all right, man, we'll go ahead. And, oh, it's the last question. So now that you heard other perspectives, would you like to change your score or keep it the same? And let me put the rating scale up. And we'll start with, uh, oh, actually, I'll go ahead and kick it off first. I'm definitely dropping my score. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to a flat six. So, yeah, I dropped it down. Right. I'm going in between average and good. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, right. I had to drop it down a little bit. I, as ridiculous as I started thinking, I'm like, yeah, that's pretty bad. That, that last scene mm-hmm. was, was too mm-hmm. much. Mm-hmm. All right, amazing. You're gonna go up now, and are you staying the same? Uh, I'll keep. Uh, I'll put it at six. I still think I think it was good, but yeah, it's very teeter to teetering on the two average. Mm-hmm. But we'll keep it at six. I'll, I'll put it at six. Mm-hmm. All right, man, Wally. <laughs> up down, are you staying the same? So after listening to all this. Uh, yeah, definitely going back down. Uh, average 5.5. Okay, okay, damn. Well, <laughs> hey, one point difference. <laughs> hey, Lucky, you remember how oh, I did man. I said 6.5, and then I was like, Yeah, you know what? I can lie. I'm gonna have to change. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. I was thinking the whole time, I was like, The whole when we're everybody yeah, was talking, I'm like, What rating am I going down to? Yeah, it was average, man. It was average. <laughs> All right, Casey Fred. <laughs> I'm feeling a little peer pressure right now, so uh, <laughs> I'm a, I feel like we're doing hype scores, so I'm gonna put five eleven. <laughs> somebody's height. <laughs> somebody's height. <laughs> he said, yeah. "All right, so you got it down in the average territory, okay? Okay, with the five eleven. Oh, I like that. I like. I like the the decibels. Don't, 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 don't let world? CLS throw us off. Yeah. We 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 get the little. I like I like the point. It makes it official. So what? All right, CLS, oh, you going? Dude, it's a six. It's a, just a six. That's it. Just a six. <laughs> not, not how we do it. All right. Well, it, so would you would, a, would you you stay in the same? You going up or down, CLS? It's still the same. It's a six. I ain't, uh, six is cool. Six is cool. Okay. Okay. So you you still stay the same. All right. A, yeah. Mm. Definitely a six. Yeah. <laughs> only, it only because I like Ray Leo. Like I said, he's the only reason I watched the movie in the first place. I'll All five minutes out. of him, huh? All five not minutes. Even of, five, not, not even five. Not even five. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, like, two point, yeah, two point five. Since you're sticking with the points, two point five. He really was. Man. He was in that movie for like ten minutes, yo. Like five, ten minutes. If like, that, damn, I think that's pushing it. I think it was yeah, about five man. minutes. I, I might go back and watch it and count it because, it, man, he was—it he, was brief. Can you remember? And you remember he died a few years ago. This was like his, I said, man, I, this sucks that this was his last movie. And they even did a yeah. tribute in the credits. And I was yeah. telling my friend, I was like, yeah, he died a couple years ago. I think it was cancer or something. So. Oh yeah, it uh, definitely. It's, it sucks that this had to be his last movie. That was thing that was heartbreaking to me. Yeah. 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 yeah he just, nah, absolutely. He, 
He great actor. So yeah. The legend. He's a pain smoker too. So Oh yeah, so maybe it's maybe it was lung cancer then. Maybe that's what it was. I think so. Yeah. I'm not mm-hmm. sure. Allegedly, everybody. We <laughs> y'all don't know. I think it was it might have it, it was lung cancer or something. It might have been. It might have been. But yeah, no, uh like like we said, average, average movie, you know, definitely uh mm-hmm. I, I say for a Netflixer, it, it, it was entertaining. To me, it was funny, man. So I, I think it was more comedy and stuff. It was. Yeah. But other than that, so we'll go ahead and close this out, go around real quick. So parting words are where can we find you at? Amazing. Uh, my parting words are please use your common sense, people. I feel like whenever we do the reviews on these movies, it's like the people are dying because they just like did stuff that everybody knows was dumb to do. Um, those are my parting words. Use your common sense. Not always common. But come on, people. Mm-hmm. All right, Wally. <clears throat> parting words. Uh, my parting words. This is the first. Well, no, no, yeah. This is probably like one of the decent times that, on average, we all agree with the every averageable substance of what this was rating by. Because literally, this was like when you go look it up. This was like what five point seven, I think, or something like that out of ten. Mm-hmm. So this is yeah. so we was right there with them. <laughs> we was right there. With them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. But all right, Casey, Fred, parting words. Oh, you gotta like, get him a Taylor, a Taylor Swift shirt too. Right. Yeah, Swift. Maybe. Hey, all I'm saying is it's all about bragging rights up in here. So, say, 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 say. I, I thought mean, you were just come here hustle. No, hey, no I, do all I just want to tell you know it's going to be like this all year. Rainy oh, champs, back to back. And Lord have mercy. this is for you, Wally. Three peak, baby. Three peak. They they might lose next year, you know that, right? Exactly. They might lose next year. Absolutely. They they're going down next year as a wrap. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna slightly rebuild next year. I don't think Taylor gonna save them next year. You don't think Taylor got them next year? If they break up, the only way they save. Hey. But y'all got 12 months to go ahead and buy this year's shirt. So y'all go right ahead. Man, man, man. No, I ain't doing none of that. No, I ain't doing none of that. No, no, not a chance. You know, but I right. one of them jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> but CLS, parting words. Uh, just don't get on the boat. That's what I That's what I told my friend. I was like, I said, this has been a very short movie. I was like, maybe, damn, I'm going to go on a boat, a 10 day boat trip with. My mom and, and her boy toy for 10 days. I was like, nah, I'm good. It was a very short movie. Just make sure it's Wi Fi on the boat because I ain't going. I see you you know what? Now that I think about it, they could have faced that boat should have been bigger. That boat, boat should have been slightly bigger. Yeah. I, I don't care how big the boat is. I want to hear my mom getting banged out by some, some random dude. <laughs> True. Yeah. But I would have never went on the boat. That's what I'm saying. It would have been a short trip for me. You said this would have been a, her, huh? a trailer and shit for you. Dude, we would. I, I would have stood by the dock and watched them, you know, leave the dock. I'd have waved at them when they, when, they, when they dock the boat. Like, that oh, storm should have been a nice added piece to a thrill to the to a part oh, of the thriller at least. Oh, the a storm. Bit. Yeah, but that yeah. yeah, of course they they just brushed that off like it was nothing. Yeah, you like they like crashed into the island or something. Yeah, yeah that would have been a nice yeah. little pot. Too. And can I ask y'all a question? I, 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 was, I think we we forgot to mention this part. Remember, he was the one he was he um when he was using a compass to navigate because he was saying we're we're on the Atlantic Ocean, so. We got to, you know, we got to stay. I think he said Northeast or something like that. Otherwise, we're fucked. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to be out here floating in the middle of nowhere. He was the yeah. one who told her what direction to go. And then he was like, remember, and then he woke. He was upset the next day because he realized they were going in the wrong direction. Remember that? Uh-huh. I mean, he was, but she was following the direction that he told her to go in. So what, I, was I that thought int- that was, was intentional. Lies. He was I lying. I thought that was kind of a lie. Yeah, he was acting. He was acting. He was like, yeah. oh, man. Remember oh. When? He said, we're going in yeah. the direction. Oh, and, mm-hmm. <laughs> and she got, she got scared yeah. and she went and grabbed the gun and she was standing there with the gun, like in case they see an attacker or something. Yeah, that's right. I forgot yeah. about that. And then they saw the deserted island. So maybe it was all an act. Like he was lying. He was playing the part. Yeah, that's probably it. Because remember, when they, were on, when they were on the island, remember he said something about like joke was on him because then the island was deserted? Yeah. So I, I think that was part of it. Yeah, yeah he lied. He was lying. He was yeah, exactly. he knew exactly what he was doing. My he man was, was just lying from the jump. He was trying he to was bang. nice with it. 
But she fought back. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Now nah, he got he got that work. But all right, my 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 parting words: Don't be out here thotting in front of your kids. Mm-hmm. But but to, mm-hmm. tune in. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, tune in for the next uh, movie reviews. Keep sending them if you want us to break down something. Hit me up on IG. Send send me the request, and we'll try to fit it into the schedule. But all right, peace. <laughs>